Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this prom inspired makeup look and I'm going to be using all drugstore makeup products. So we're going to go ahead and just get started and the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows using the Maybelline Gel Liner and this is in the color brown so I know you're probably like what is she doing but yes I like to use this for my eyebrows because I do have dark hair and the color itself is not too warm or too cool and I find that it works perfectly well and since it is a gel liner once I apply it to my brows and it dries down it does not go anywhere similar to my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow so if you're on a budget and you're looking for a pomade I know there's many of them at the drugstore now try this out if you have a similar hair color to mine because I know that you will absolutely love this stuff and it's really inexpensive so once I'm done doing my brows, I am going to go ahead and clean up my brows just a little bit, nothing extreme. I'm going to be using the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette. And this palette is in the shade Medium. And I'm just mixing the top two colors to clean up my brows a little bit. And I do this step all the time in all of my videos. So that's why I'm not showing you guys the products today because that's what's going on. And I'm just going to be blending that little line out so it isn't too harsh. And right after I'm done doing that, I am going to go into my um, base. And I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow base. So this base is amazing. I love this stuff. This is probably my second or third pot. And I do have one waiting for me in my drawer to pop open once this one runs out. And... Basically, I'm just going to cover up my eyelid to cancel out any discoloration and I'm also going on top of that with my beauty blender because the beauty blender just soaks up any of the excess product that I may have lingering there that I do not want so that I'm not cakey. I am going to be going in with my Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette and I'm going to be taking that first shade just to set the base so that it isn't too sticky and when I go in with those two colors here, as my transition colors they blend out a lot better as opposed to me just applying them to wet skin so this is a step that I always like to take and it always works out for me it makes my eyeshadow come out so good well at least in my opinion and I am gonna be showing you guys how I apply the color but keep in mind that it did take me like five or seven minutes to build up the colors to the intensity that I wanted so just because it's taking me 20 seconds here don't, don't get it twisted y'all it's still gonna take a long time next I'm going in with this white fluffy brush and this brush is one of my favorite brushes of life it's the Coastal Scents BR250 brush this thing is like three dollars and it is amazing I have like 10 of those in my collection and I'm going in with that reddish brown brown shade and again I'm speeding this part up but it did take me a while to build up the color to the intensity that I wanted so that it can look perfectly blown out and diffused and next I'm going back in with my NYX eyeshadow base and I'm using a thin angled brush and this is what I'm gonna use to cut my crease and you guys I can't even lie it was so hard I haven't done like a cut crease in a while so it didn't come out too perfect but this is as good as it got before I placed all the concealer all over my lid and then covered up all my crease colors because I was like oh my god it was sensing my fear so once I felt it looked good enough I was like okay we're just gonna go ahead and set this now so here I am showing you guys how I am setting the concealer I'm sorry the base and now I'm going back in with that same fluffy brush without any additional product just to kind of clean up the edges because like I said I wasn't able to cut my crease perfectly next I'm going in with the NYX face and body glitters in the shades copper and rose and I went ahead and mixed the two colors together so it's kind of funny because in my mind I thought it was going to come out more like I don't know what I was thinking I guess like a melanie color and it didn't it just turned out to be a little bit more of a deeper pink so more so in in person it looked kind of like a hot pink and it was really beautiful don't get me wrong but it just wasn't the color I was envisioning but nonetheless I still really like how it turned out and yeah anyways I really liked the combination it made it was a little bit different but if you can't if you can't or don't have both of the colors you absolutely don't need them if anything you can use whatever glitter you have at home that's perfectly fine this look will look great with any glitter 
it just doesn't even matter whatever you have is fine next I'm gonna show you guys how I clean up the fallout from the glitter because glitter is really messy and like you guys saw I ended up using tape and I always do that and it picks up the glitter so amazing if I try to like sweep it away with a brush it's just not gonna happen next I'm going in with the Revlon ultra volume mascara this is in the waterproof and I really like it because it really holds a curl and it dries down really quickly I'm going in with the Milani prime shield face primer which is mattifying and pore minimizing and this uh, primer I don't really like to be honest I just use it because I have it and I don't want it to expire but I don't like it. I don't recommend it. I have combination oily skin and it makes me feel really greasy and I just am not a fan of it. So don't use it y'all. And if you guys have my skin type, if you have dry skin, I think you would like it. The foundation I went in with is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. And this one is in the shade 05 Warm Beige. And I really like this foundation. I have this foundation in two other colors, so 6 and 7. And I can't wait to pop it out. When it's summertime and I'm a lot more tan, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and this one is in the shade Light Medium Beige and I like it. It's pretty nice. I will say though that it dries down really quickly so if you have it, don't do what I did and coat your whole face in concealer and then try to blend it out. First, what you want to do is work in sections so that it doesn't dry down on you is what I would recommend. Next, I'm going in with my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, and I'm applying this everywhere that I set that concealer. So under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and my upper lip area. And I really like this powder, so inexpensive and so light. I have other powders that are very expensive and like just make me look all caked up and this powder never does that so I would definitely recommend it to you guys and next I threw on my lashes the lashes that I'm going with today are the 614 salon perfect lashes and I chose these lashes because they're not too too long or anything so you're still able to see my glittery goodness that I have going on so I really like them for that reason and the band is really thin which is also a plus it doesn't feel too heavy on the eyes the powder that I'm using is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte powder and this one is in natural beige and it's my holy grail powder always use that stuff and next you guys i don't think i've ever used this on my channel and i absolutely love this product it's the flower beauty blush and bronzer duo so this comes with a bronzer and a blush i don't necessarily like the blush a lot i don't go for it i don't reach for it constantly but the bronzer is amazing it's perfect it has a tiny bit of shimmer but it doesn't come off shimmery on the skin and the color, the undertone is just perfect. It's literally one of my favorite bronzers ever and I really, really like it. Flower Beauty be having some good products. You just have to try out what they have to see if there's anything that you like. The blush that I'm going in with is the NYX Baked Blush and this is in the shade Foreplay. Love this blush. It's really, really subtle and it is baked so it does have some shimmer but it doesn't come off really shimmery on the skin which is also why i like it for under my eyes i'm gonna be going in with the red brown color that i put into my crease and i'm just gonna slightly diffuse that under there so that the lower lash line isn't too naked Ooh, i'm out of breath here <laughs> And next I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I like this mascara because the little bristles are really small. So they get up in my lower lashes really well. And next I'm going to be going in to my Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. And I'm going to be going in with the third shade which is the warmer color, the gold. And it is stunning before I put on the highlighter I was gonna add a cream base but then I was like hold up girl we don't need it this time because this palette is not plain this palette is so pigmented it is amazing and again it's one of the flower beauty cosmetics items that is like a hidden gem if you find this definitely pick it up because I think you will like it and I'm also using that same palette to highlight my inner corners I'm mixing the champagne -y and pinky highlight and popping that in there and as you guys can see it gave me really good color payoff without having to wet my brush or anything 
The lip liner that I'm using is by NYX Cosmetics and it's in the shade Nutmeg and it's basically just a brown. So any brown lip liner that you have will do fine. But I love the NYX lip liners because they're like $3.50 at Ulta and you can always get them by one half off. And the lipstick that I'm going with is another oldie but goodie. It's the May Maybelline <laughs> Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Clay Crush. And I absolutely love it. It's like a peachy nude type of shade. And I also decided to top off my lip with some gloss because I felt it was looking a little dry down there. And I'm using the L'Oreal Dulce de Leche lip gloss from the Infallible Pro line. So I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair really quick, you guys, because it was looking a little crazy. So I just decided to part it down the center. Um smoothen out the edges and everything and just put it into like a low pony and yeah that's pretty much it for this look you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys